that moisturizing factor to the curls and i'm just going to hey everyone welcome back to the channel thanks for being here so on today's video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with this mannequin it needs a lot of work doing we're going to be taking off that wispy ends and we'll be refreshing the layers doing a sort of midi curly haircut so what we want to be aiming for is we want to be doing a pinwheel technique i've done this before on a wolf cut so this is going to be taking into consideration the natural curl pattern but how much we're going to be able to cut off as well to create a really simple way to cut curly hair so when i come to explaining the section pattern i'm going to be using my trusty head mannequin drawing things here because what these are going to give me they're going to give me the ability to show people who can't necessarily see on the mannequin head but can take it in better when it's drawn in front of them. So what I'm gonna do with the mannequin today is I will wet her down. You can see she has been absolutely battered. A lot of frizz, a lot of unevenness, and some really, really wispy ends. So I wanna show you how to refresh this for your clients. And basically, for anyone who has curly hair, one of the biggest questions on my channel is, can you do more curly haired haircuts? So, we're going to be working on this today. So now she's all cleansed and conditioned, I use the Joico Hair Repair four-step hair repair system. So what this is, is a four-step process when uh, working on treating hair. We've got clarifying shampoo. The reason I used clarifying shampoo, the hair was, it just, it just didn't feel right. And this could be one of the mannequins that could have been down here when my studio flooded. And it's just flooded recently again. So, so just some early news. I'm going to be getting a new YouTube studio. Really excited, really custom made. Uh, it's going to look really cool. Uh, but what it will bring you as well, I can be bringing content so much more frequent, lives. Um, yeah, it's going to be an absolute game changer. So this mannequin just felt like it had been in a flood. And her hair felt really sort of dry. Just mean, to be honest. Horrible. So, yeah, clarifying shampoo. Cleansed away all of the impurities, say product buildup and everything like that. Cuticle sealer will just, it's an acidic um, pH. So what that does is it just slams the cuticle shut, making sure that we keep all the goodness in. And then we do a reconstructor, which is a penetrator, goes in, reconstructs. And then for this hair, what it needed was hydration. So we finished off with the hydrator, which is just there. So that is step four. Up in the salon, I've got steps one, two, three, and four. Down here, I've got steps two and four um, for display purposes, really. But yeah, that is what we've used on her today. And I'm, I'm basically detangling, look at all that. Detangling with a pintail cone. That's how good the condition is. So we're gonna get straight into the sectioning pattern, just here, and then join me back for the haircut. So basically what we wanna be doing is, we want to be working from this top here, and we want to be coming out. So just so we know where that is, that's the middle. We want to be coming either side of that middle. So we can go to the nape and then to there. So to the top of the ears. And then we get rid of that middle piece there. So we've got section, 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 section. And again, if we're working from here, we'll be coming there to there to there, to there, to there, to there. Opens it all up. And again, if we're working from here, down to that nape, to the ear, say to the recession, and then same on the other side. So a really simple section pattern. I will link the wolf cut that I did here. I'm not gonna be using the same cutting technique. I think I back cut that one to create loads of texture. This one is gonna be cut with a, with a straight blade, uh, creating really nice, hard edges but softened off. So let's get into the sectioning pattern. Let's grab my pintail again. And like I did on the back, I'm just gonna draw a middle back section down, just so I've got some balance. And then basically from that high point, drawing down into the corners of the nape. I will show you, don't worry. And what I am going to do, just how much hair is on the back of this mannequin, I'm just going to split that. Where I got rid of that middle section on that back, I'm actually going to put it back in, 
just to take away there we go just to make that back section a little bit smaller so you'll be able to see that so front section through there and then we're working through here which is that section just there that piece there which is top of the ear section there we've got that section that section basically just goes all the way around the head from the high point of the head so all i'm going to be doing is working through each section bringing the hair out elevating up and i'm going to be taking all of that off so you can see what that will do is we're just going to take a tiny bit of the length off so i'm going to be taking an inch of the length off because we want to get rid of some of that length because it's a little bit damaged so there i'm going to be cutting straight through there so starting on this back section here i'm going to be elevating that hair out say 45 degrees and an inch from the length i'm going to be taking off and cutting straight up there at an opposite 45 degree angle what that will do then is it will start to layer the hair removing some of the length because we want to but it's going to take away all of these wispy ends it's going to build up this haircut so it's very very strong but because we're layering it's still going to be soft if we were cutting it and say we were cutting it down here because it's below 90 degrees we'd be graduating you'd get a much harder line so this is why we're elevating elevation creates softness we're going to elevate look for that inch from the from the length and then cut straight through and we're going to be pulling each section straight out from the head at the same 45 degree angle creating the same shape all over and then when it comes to when we're taking all the clips out i'm going to take this top section through here in a little diamond pull straight up the ceiling and then if there's any irregularities just trim those off there shouldn't be and then what that will do is we'll just make it sit that much better so where we're going to start is this back section here we're going to be working with an elevation of 45 degrees straight out from the head and we're going to be taken off at the opposite 45 degree angle so our fingers are going to be 45 degrees that way and then the angle of the hair is going to be 45 degrees that way so we're looking for taking some of the length off we're looking to take off an inch through there like so this is going to give us a layer so it's going to create softness in there but it's going to build up a lovely shape to complement curly hair we're going to be removing all those ends those wispy ends you've seen at the beginning because we're taking off an inch of the length and we're taking off all of those ends throughout the mids which were creating that sort of wispiness so i'm going to take out that section if it's easier you can get that exist that section previous and clip that out of the way so you don't pull any to it so again this section here we want to pull straight out from the head from that section we want to elevate 45 degrees we want to find that inch that we took off with the length we want our finger angle the same now if we were to cross check just to make sure we're working the same we get rid of that top piece just out of the way for now go into the bulk of the hair we'd want to pull out and for there to be a nice blunt line through this section let's clip that out so we don't pull any of that into this section and i'll show you from here so straight out from the head if we were working 90 degrees we'd be pulling straight out here but we're working on an elevation to create softness so 45 degrees we want to look for that inch of the length that we want to take off and as we move around to the front you'll notice we'll be losing more length or it would be looking shorter because we're losing the hair around the ear but that's fine because that'll give us the shape around the face that we want just check that again all good taking this one out clip that out of the way and we want to be moving around the head we don't want to be over directing back here 
we want to be moving with the hair and the head shape. So we sit her front ways like that. This isn't going to come straight out like this. It's going to come out like that. So straight out from that middle of that section. And again, this is what's going to give us those shorter pieces around the face, but also create softness, elevation with the layering. You can see there, because we're taking off the same amount, we've got the same length. We've got these layers in here. So when this once I've finished and we diffused it, you're going to see it's going to look absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go on to the other side now before we get to the front. Take this one out, elevate, taking that inch off, clip that section out of the way, pulling straight out from the head, from the middle of that section. And what I'm looking for around this front is not so much taking the inch off, I'm looking at refreshing the shape. So where it starts to get really wispy and a little bit outgrown, looks a little bit damaged, that's what I'm taking off. So I judged it on this side and I was able to mimic exactly what I did on the opposite side. But how quickly is this haircut? So now we're on the front. And this is what can give us really sort of short bangs, fringe area. It can give us just face framing. If we're to look at the, the names in which people are throwing around these days, wolf cut, butterfly cut, cub cut. If we wanted more like a wolf cut sort of vibe, we could potentially be looking at taking all of that off through there. So you've got this nice heavy fringe there. If it's more butterfly, we could come through here, maybe sit around like the neckline, give us that floatiness. If it was cub cut, cub cut's a little bit shorter, maybe shag, but we could go in maybe around about the nose and that give us sort of like a shaggy effect. But what we're gonna to do today, this is gonna be basically maintenance. We're gonna look at where the damage is. And this front isn't too bad. But I want it, I'm gonna sit it. I'm gonna sit it an inch below there. So when it pops up, you've still got a little bit of face framing. So if we look at there, there, still 45 degree. And then fingers 45 degree the opposite way. Still straight out. There. So let's just comb out. Forever leaving clips in. And for people who are thinking, oh, what about if I've got a side part in? This is why I'm doing this top piece just now. Because it's as if we're going to do a slight sort of square layer, but just to just to balance up really. So let's get a sitting square. This left hand side is a diff, completely different texture to the other side. So I'm going to come in. I'm in coming. I'm going to come into all of these sections that I've just done, and I'm basically going an inch forward an inch into these sides, an inch into the back, and then exactly the same through here to create a diamond shape on top, like so. And then on the back again. Reason for this is because I'm gonna bring all the way up. And like I said, Look, it's, it is still very, very square. Because we, we took off the exact same amount all the way around, there's nothing really there to correct as such. But if somebody's got a side part and they want it to sit a little bit, um, well, better, this would be the, the thing to do. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm just nipping off and just squaring all that up. And because we've gone into all of the all of the sections, it's going to fall all the way through all of them to create softness, but link them all together. And if you want to take off more length, this would be the time to do it. Product-wise, I'm going to work in Joico Zero Heat. Here we go. There's about a 50 pence piece. If you have the sort of a what, a ping pong ball flattened in your hand, that's the amount that I'm using.
today. Joy gel medium. I've got the size of not as much as a as a fifty pence piece. I suppose ten pence. Ten pence piece would be the size of. God, I'm trying to think internationally. Um, maybe a watch face. Depends on what size watch you got, doesn't it, Paul? Um, I know the bottle cap of a soda bottle. There you go. But look at that shape. You can see that shape just on those edges, just all falling through there. There we go. So I'm going to pop this in my foyer, let it dry. I'm going to do a load more hair cutting videos. And once it's dry, I'll bring it back down and show the finished result. So there we go, guys. That is the finished result. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments down below. But you can see we've got a lot more balance, a lot more symmetry, and just a healthier looking head of hair. So it's still very quite compressed curls because it's just been left to air dry. I'm just going to get Joyco's K-Pak Color Therapy Oil. Two pumps. Curly hair, obviously, if you've got curly hair, you know it's often drier. So I'm just going to work this through and just softly pull in those curls out, not raking them out, but just working this oil through. Two more pumps for the other side. Using it as a moisturiser. This will, this will help hair grow also because you're you're keeping that, that moisturizing factor to the curls. And I'm just going to encourage the curly hair just to sit where it wants to sit and do its own thing. Bear in mind, this is a mannequin, so there's no real hairline or parting to it. Hair growth as such, it's just, sitting where it was stitched in but i just want to show you how this haircut has helped elevate its condition but also shape we're not going to get that triangular shape that we tend to get when we're working with curly hair or people tend to get that's why they hate going to a hair salon because they get those sort of those like curly hair which sits out here and comes in there you don't get that with this haircut you can see how how sort of straight that's sitting there with a lot more movement and I'm just working I like massaging the scalp slightly just to open up any any parts that have dried into the hair and it will just give that a little bit more volume a little bit more movement and we're not going to rake through we're just going to encourage it to to see where it wants to sit but yeah, that is that haircut done and completed. So you can see these two front pieces sitting there. And we've just got this really nice soft layer just working throughout the hair. And that baseline just looks so much fuller, just looks so much healthier. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know if this has helped you in understanding how to sort of cut curly hair on your clients. Um, if you're someone who has got curly hair and they've always struggled with getting a, a nice curly haired haircut, this is a method that I would definitely recommend somebody do on you. Um, and yeah, hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button. And again, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. And if you have really enjoyed it, you want to support the channel, click the little join button next to the subscribe button and see what I have to offer there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.